for my independent study project at Islandwood. I'm building two marimbas. One's already been built. The second one's in progress now. And the hope for the second marimba will stay here at Islandwood and will be used in the SOP or the student overnight program at Islandwood. Uh, field groups will be able to use it. A marimba is an instrument I'm learning myself that it originated in, in Southern Africa and Zimbabwe, among other places. It's kind of like a xylophone, a lot bigger. It has wooden keys, each one tuned to a specific note, um, laid out on a frame. They're big, they're about the size of a table, and they're played with mallets. Um, they're big enough so multiple people can play on one. For instance, the one we're building now, hopefully uh, three students will be able to play on it. Again, that's helping them learn how to work together in a team. are made out of paduk. It's, uh, it's a beautiful wood, comes from West Africa, from the tropical rainforest. It's this brilliant red color. Well, 
if we can, yeah, we can do a little finish chance handy. Yep, sure, sure. Cool, they can handle it. Okay. Um, now let me cut some more length and then we'll, you can come out and do a couple of these. Sure.
the shock cord to go through to keep the keys in place. Pull the keys together to keep it in place on the frame. Jess is the art director at Island One. This was her idea. She uh, made the connections that make this possible, which I feel very fortunate about. Jess put me in touch with Lee Stoller, uh, a very accomplished woodworker and a resident here on Bainbridge Island, and he's very involved in the Island Wood community. And so I've been working a lot with him, and he's been an incredible resource for experience in woodworking and just showing me so much about woodworking that I had no idea existed. Um, and then also, Jess put me in touch with Paul Meehan, the middle school band director here on the island, and he is the one who has a great amount of experience building marimbas. And so we used his design that he had perfected over the years, and Lee's been showing me the, uh, the skills that I need to know how to put it together. Uh, I feel very fortunate to uh, be here at Islandwood, and what an incredible place this is. Um, you know, I'm studying education and working every week on how to, how to teach environmental education. And it's what an incredible place to give me the opportunity to be able to work on a project like this and to learn so many skills that I wouldn't have been able to if I hadn't had the connections with 
both Lee Stoller and Paul Meehan 